Hello everyone, my name is Maxon. Welcome to my Civilization 5 Brave New World Let's Play. For this game I'll be playing as the Incan Civilization. I really want to show off their abilities as much as possible in this Let's Play. So I've picked certain Pangaea map settings that should help me out uh, with doing that. Now, the Incans really excel in hilly and mountainous terrain. I'll go into details a bit later exactly what their unique abilities are. Uh, so the map size I'm playing on is small map size and I'll be playing on Immortal Difficulty level. I've lowered the sea level so there should be a bit more terrain to settle on than normal for a small size map. Arguably the most important uh, change I've made uh, that will help the Incans out a bit is the world age. Uh, I've set that to 3 billion years, it's normally 4. This basically governs how hilly and mountainous the terrain is likely to be. So this should make it more hilly and mountainous because the younger the planet, the less erosion that's happened. Uh, the only other changes I've made are to temperature and rainfall. They're both set to random. Normally they'd be temperate and normal. Uh, this basically governs the likelihood of certain uh, terrain types and how numerous they are. For example, deserts and jungles. Uh, the advanced game options, I've added quick combat and quick movement. That should uh, speed things up a bit, so the animations don't slow us down so much. Okay, so that's the game options. I'll start the game. Okay, so I'll mention a bit about the Inca's unique features before I get started. So their special ability is the Great Andean Road. Units ignore terrain costs when moving into any type of hills and they have no maintenance costs for improvements in hills, half cost elsewhere. So basically the Incas are great at getting into uh, positions where they want, when they want, for whatever reason, whether they're scouting or defending their territory or even attacking another civilization. The second part of this ability means that you can basically spam roads and railroads and hill tiles. There's no downside other than the time it takes you to do that. So arguably, once they've got their road network up and running, their economy should be a slightly bit better than other civilizations since they're not paying uh, anywhere near as much in maintenance. And also, the first part of their ability means that you're much better at scouting. Your warrior can move uh, through hill tiles earlier on. And also, it's great on the attack as well. Say you're up against a civilization that has uh, cities in very hilly areas, you can get your units to surround the cities a lot more easily. It's also actually good for your economy, potentially. Say you had a worker next to a hill tile, you can move onto that hill tile and start working on improvements straight away, or chopping down forests or jungles. So you may be able to get your improvements done a slightly bit faster than other civilizations. Also, the Incas have a unique unit, the Slinner. The Slinner is an archer replacement and it has a promotion that allows it to withdraw from combat if it's attacked by a melee unit. So basically it means that the unit is slightly uh, better at surviving than normal archers. Uh, its strength is a bit lower though, so if it does get caught then it's going to be in trouble. Uh, it's not an automatic thing. If it can't actually move to, if there's no tile for it to move into, then it will get caught and attacked. Or if it's attacked by a horseman, say, a fast unit, then there's less chance of it withdrawing from combat as well. The Slinner does have its downsides though, the fact that it withdraws to a tile when it's attacked. So I'll actually go into details a bit more about that later on. The Inca's uh, unique improvement is the Terrace Farm. This can only be built on hill tiles, uh, but it gives you an extra food when you do so. In fact, it gives you plus two food if the hill tile is next to a mountain. So this can be very useful if you want to settle in a uh, very hilly uh, city spot that lacks food. So all in all, the Incas are a very flexible civilization. In fact, I don't really know what uh, victory type I'm going to be uh, going towards or aiming towards. So I think I'll leave that up to circumstances, depending on what civilizations are in the area and what city-states. Okay, so I'll continue our journey. 
Okay, so our starting location actually looks pretty good. Uh, we've got two wheat resources. So, uh, granary uh, being built here would help out a lot. And you really want to have a good bonus resource or two within the initial city rin. We've got a couple of luxury resources. Salt is actually an amazing luxury resource. Gives you an extra food and then a gold early on. And you only need mining to uh, get it unlocked to uh, start building improvements on it. A mine. Uh, so where should I uh, found my first city? Um, this site might be pretty good. I'd basically start on a hill. So that's a bit of extra production and more in uh, defensiveness. I'd have two really good uh, resources next to us. I'd start on a river so I'd get the extra trading uh, bonus from the river as well as being able to make uh, future river buildings. Uh, I'd also start next to a mountain so I'd be able to uh, make an observatory a bit later on. Uh, and also there are some wonders which you need to be near to a mountain to be able to build. Uh, the downside of settling there though is that I'm actually four tiles away from this incense resource. Uh, so I probably would want to start within three tiles of that. Um, this tile would be pretty good. Uh, but I wouldn't be next to a mountain, but I'd have all the other benefits of this tile if I settled there. Uh, all these, uh, yeah, that could be pretty good. I think what I'm going to do is actually uh, have a think about this, so I'll save the game and I'll be back in a second. So I'm thinking of settling there. I think what I'm going to do is bring my warrior down there first. Uh, right, so that hasn't revealed much more. Um, I think I'll move on to the hill. I'm not sure if moving there would uh, get me more information though. I'll try there. Right. Uh, so, I think this is the spot I want. I'm not going to get a potential observatory long term for being next to the mountain, but uh, I should be able to use some terrace farms around here anyway. I'm still in range of all these hills, so production will be really good by settling there. Um, You've given, well, you've got a small amount of information, you have to make the best use out of it. So, I move to there, which doesn't reveal anything extra, but that's where I'm going to settle. Right, so next turn. Right, and the Incas can move uh, through hill tiles, but this warrior isn't next to any. Um, can't move across the river easily. I think I'll move warrior there and to there. So there's a mountain. We knew that mountain was there already but um, there's deers over there, some range. Yeah, this is the best spot. It's a shame I'm not next to a mountain but I found a city there. It's uh, much better to settle uh, your city on a coast or your capital on a coast in uh, Brave New World because of how the cargo ships work. You get extra production and food of uh, cargo trades over um, normal caravan trades. Uh, but yeah, there's no coast around here. Uh, right, so I'm going to do probably double scout scout. And I need to lock down my tiles. Uh, so the salt is the best one. But I've got two bonus uh, good resources next door. Okay, so let's get exploring then. So, there, there. Yeah, the low seas means there's going to be a lot more terrain. I'm not sure if I mention it then, that's why. I normally go double scout, scout anyway though. Uh, right, so. Right, banana salt, so potential city site over there. Down here, right, found the ruin. Truffles as well. Um, there. Oh, monopion right, so we found Theodora, the Byzantian. Right, so she's uh, very religious orientated, but 
She doesn't actually have any bonuses towards getting religion in the first place, so often they can actually miss out on getting one. Uh, right, so we found population. I think, yeah, I'll come down here now. Uh, next to there might be a good spot. You'd be next to the fresh water of the oasis and have those uh, resources as well. Right, so I've got a second population. I'll lock down this wheat tile. Uh, could really, right, I've got 11 turns. Might buy that tile potentially. Alright, next turn. Could do with finding some city states. Uh, to get some extra gold. Right, so this uh, scout can make his way up here. Move on that hill for the no minor system movement. And I'll actually come down there. Production. Another scout. So it's a really strong start with these uh, resources around here. Got a lot of production already. And I'm on the hill for more production and defense. Okay, uh, hill. Right, go on that hill. That's probably another. Right, I'm actually in range of that assault. Great. So there's probably another city site down here. There's a river there. Um, I'll move uh, there. Right, so we're actually quite close to the coast after all. Uh, let's ruin up here. Right. So we're probably on the eastern side of the Pangaea. Um, from that hill. Oh, two ruins. Okay, I'll uh, take that one first. The meek shall inherit the earth. But not its mineral rights. Okay, excellent. We've got mining. That was going to be the tech I researched next. I'll get that. Uh, found barbarian camps. Okay. Right next turn. Shall the clay say to him that fashioneth it? What makest thou? Okay, we've got pottery. Uh, so what shall I go for next? So I'm going to need calendar to make use of that incense. Um, how many jungles around here? Not too many actually, it's just forest so I don't need bronze working early. Um, yeah, I think I'll go calendar next then. Okay. Uh, scout can come up here. Uh, this one... And uh, I'll come down southeast first, I think. Another ruin. I've got to get that ruin now. So, um, put it first, and then that's it. Okay, so production. Right, I've got a decision to make now. Do I want to go after a religion or not? I'll take a second to figure this out. Okay, I think I'm going to hold off on going for a religion at the moment and not build a shrine. Uh, to be honest, if I go for a religion, I tend to pick pantheons that help out with uh, increasing your faith. And the only tiles or resources around the area that could help with that, uh, well, there's uh, some deserts for desert folklore, but not arguably going to be settling up there. And there's a one that, uh, I think it's Earth Mother. Yeah, it gives you... Uh, plus one faith for salt, iron and copper. There's a few salt around here, but yeah, I'm going to hold off on that. I think I may want to get a settler over here quickly. Not sure where Byzantium is, but this is an amazing location. So what am I going to go for? I'm going to go for, well, a granary would be amazing here because of uh, the wheat tiles. Um, I'll go for a monument first. And I may go granary next. Uh, we'll have to see. Right, so what am I going for then? Uh... Right, I'm going to end turn for starters. Okay, let's get this ruin down here. Uh, right, so I'd really quite like to go Liberty in this game if there's enough decent uh, city locations. I probably would want to settle at least five or six cities to go Liberty. Uh, there's one, two at the moment. So I'd probably pick Tradition at the moment. Uh, right, so I'm going to bring this warrior around here I think now. 
Uh, right. Let's see the coast there. You never know. It might be Great Barrier Reef. Uh, right. There's a ruin over here. Right. Another salt resource. Is that a range of Cusco though? It's Barbarian there. Right. So that unit's been upgraded to the Incan Slinners. Uh, right. Next turn. Okay. Right, found yet another ruin, and it's a salt resource down here, so probably would want to settle along this river to get the citrus and the silk. Um, right, is there a hill there? No. Should we get to there? Right, it's a city state up there. Uh, I think move there. Okay. Uh, let's get that ruin. Right, I'd use up all my movement if I go across that river. So I move there first and then to there. Right, so I've got culture. So how many city spots can I get? There's one, one down here, probably there. One over there, one over there. It's probably not enough for liberty at the moment. So I'm going to take the tradition opener. Uh, I'm not going to take honor because there's no enemy nearby. I usually. It's very unusual to take honor. It's your first uh, social policy anyway. And piety, I'm not going for that either. Religion at the moment. So, tradition open is amazing because it it gives you culture, which is great. And it also, uh, the borders for your cities take a lot less culture for the, you to get them. So I should have uh, rest one turn now. Uh, right, this uh, slinger can make way back down here. Hopefully that won't be attacked. Uh, right, so here found Columbo. Had uh, a mercantile and hostile. Not good at this hostile. Uh, go through there. Okay, and next turn. Bharatiya found India. Okay. Not particularly aggressive sieve, which is uh, probably good for me. Okay, but if uh, I wanted to go culture, it wouldn't be good though. Right, so come down here. I found another city state, Sophia. It's a military hostile city state. Okay, pretty unlucky that I've had two hostile ones now. Right, India's down here then. Can I see the borders yet? I don't think so. So these two city sites are going to be hard to get both of them, or one of them maybe. Ah, uh, right, move there. Probably want to bring my warrior or uh, my slinger back to the capital in a bit to uh, protect workers. Or yeah, speaking of workers, I might need to steal one once uh, one of these city states has actually made one. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, that's uh, gone up. Which tile do I want? That's five turns away. I could buy it now. I don't think I will. Right, I'll just stick this on. Food tile. Okay. Really tempted to make a set the next 12 turns. Um, I think I might as well pick that one then. If I'm going to make a set the next. Yeah, I could do with that hill for production when I get the, uh, start making the settler. Okay, so next turn. I'm actually going to bring my warrior back towards the capital if I'm going to make a settler because uh, the slinners are terrible for protecting civilian units because of their withdrawal ability. Uh, if you have a civilian unit under them and they get attacked by a melee unit, then they can withdraw and then... Basically, the civilian unit ends up getting captured, so uh, I definitely don't want that to happen. Right, so let's get this warrior starting to come around up here. Oh, there's another city-state here. Should find them, iffy. Okay, right, let's give me a ton of faith, and they're... I'm the first to find them. So that means that maybe going after religion might not be such a bad idea after all. 
Um, I might change my mind about building a shrine here next then. Okay. How many salt resources are there? Four. Okay, right next turn. Right, uh, bring this guy down here. Come up here. Oh, there's another salt over there in a the ruin. Right, so I need to uh, reevaluate what I'm doing here. Okay, I think I'm actually going to build a shrine and go after a religion. I'm not sure it's a good idea, to be honest, but I really like to get a religion if I can. Uh, there is a religious city-state down here which could help out later on. And I could maybe take the Earth Mother Pantheon for the salt. That would give me extra faith. Uh, no one's got a Pantheon yet. I've actually got a bonus. Uh, well, I've got eight towards it. Uh, the fact that I'm next to the Indians and Byzantians uh, is not a good thing because they go for religions. But yeah, let's build a shrine. Uh, it's going to take five turns. And yeah, I th I'm thinking of switching back to Liberty as well. I'm not sure I made the right decision with uh, taking tradition. Well, I actually really want to go with Liberty. Uh, taking a tradition to start off isn't too bad though. But. Um, I can get a worker from going to Liberty, that will speed things up a bit. And uh, eventually a settler. If I can get to these uh, three sites, or two of them, that would be great. Right, so I need to bring... Uh, I think I might bring one of these... Yeah, I'll bring this guy back. How about... Okay. And... He can get that ruin. Another 90 gold. I could actually buy a worker relatively soon. Uh, right, so this uh, can come up here. It's gold over there. Right. I may actually do that by a worker. Or even save up a bit more for um, Settler. Uh, right, so that can shoot that guy. In there, this can make us with a right found Hanoi. Uh, yeah, I've got enough for a worker now. That's a jungle hill, gems over there. There's another city spot over here. Uh, this can make its way back up here. Right, so I need to think about Liberty again. I'm going to stick with Tradition after all, actually. Uh, the reason being, there's probably only three more city spots that I actually want to settle, maybe. Or have any chance of getting to. Uh, this site, that site, and maybe that site. This site isn't all that, actually that good. Um, so I'm not even sure I'd settle over there. Maybe I'll just get Cusco's borders to try and get that salt. I would like to settle over there, but getting these three four sites so difficult and the fact that I've picked the tradition opener already the chances of me getting down to collective rule quickly are pretty slim uh, so I'm just gonna keep on tradition right, so I'll pick legalism okay and I've actually got enough money to build a worker that's another reason why perhaps going down liberty towards citizenship wasn't so valuable an idea uh, if I buy a worker now though, I can't really use him because of that uh, warrior, so I can't kill him next turn. Right, so I'll buy the I buy it next turn. I think. Okay, should be able to kill it. I'll buy it this turn. He won't be able to move. Right. And I should really well. This is useless for protecting workers, as I mentioned earlier. So really need this warrior bank. Uh, so. There, marble over there. Bit of, is that coast or a lake? Must be coast. Uh, this, I'll bring this guy up here to explore. I think so. Is there any hills around here? Um, over there. Didn't scout. Okay. 
Okay, right, next turn. So, so teach calendar. us to number our days so that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Alright, uh, kill that off. Which tile do I want to use then? Salt. That's uh, right. Put mine there. Bring this guy up. Uh, warrior can make his way back as well. Slowly. Uh, Scout can come over there. Uh, there's a marble up there, but it's going to be pretty hard to get that. Maybe a city there. Right, so. Research. What tech do I want next? Uh, what do I need? Almost definitely making a set the next here. Uh, this jungle. Stone for masonry, truffles, trapping that would take. Uh, so let's go animal husbandry, I think. Right. Okay, next turn. Right, this uh, can make its way up there. back to its capital. Right, we found uh, Byzantium. So they're very close to this. Uh, they're close, well, there's a few city spots they're close to that I want. All good ones, actually. So I'm a chance. I'm not sure how quickly they tend to settle places. I think they expand reasonably quickly, actually. So it's going to be a race now. Uh, right, so I'm going to build. I really want a granary to make use of these wheat tiles as well, but settler next. Then maybe a granary, then maybe another settler. Or a military unit. Right, so let's uh, get the right tiles here. Right, I got that recently, which I didn't realise. Right, so I just want the maximum production. Um, haven't got a hill tile I could do with. Right, I think that's the best I can get actually. Okay, so next turn. Okay, let's find whatever that tile is. Another deer, great. Uh, so our granary is going to be even more powerful. Uh, the scout can move there, found the capital. Uh, warrior can make his way. We should bring it down here to scout around the area. Uh, I've got a Pantheon, and I'm actually the first to get it as well. Right, I'll take a second to figure this out. If my religion is going to be decent, then I probably need to pick Earth Mother, I think, to get the extra faith. If I was going to pick something else, then I probably wouldn't pick Desert Folklore, although there are, there's about seven decent desert tiles maybe around here, but I'm probably not going to be settling there directly. Uh, probably here and by there, so it would be on the outskirts. Uh, the other one which might be okay is Sun God. Uh, extra food for bananas, citrus and wheat. Uh, it's quite a decent amount in the area. But uh, Earth Mother I'm going to pick. So hopefully there's a ton of iron as well. Might be because it's quite hilly. Uh, right, so let's pick that. I don't think you actually need to uh, build a mine. No, you don't. Before you can actually get the faith. So that's good. Right. Uh, right, so next turn. Right, so this, uh, I've got to start scouting with this one, I think. This slinger unit. Uh, that can stay here for the time being. Scout can come around here. No sign of any settlers yet, which is great. Uh, Pantheon was just founded. Who's that? Uh, unknown. Right, so that might not be good. There might be another religious sieve somewhere. Uh, right. So I can come back down there. Stay there. Right next turn. Uh, that can come down there as well. Let's go stay there. Alright, so I may want to keep a few units around here to stop them from coming over here potentially. 
Uh, I think that's it for this video though. If you enjoyed this video or indeed enjoy any of the videos on my channel, then please give them a like. It really helps me out. I'm really grateful to those of you who do that. I answer pretty much every comment made on my channel as well. So if there's a comment you'd like to make or a question you'd like to ask for this video or any video, then please ask away. If you're new to the channel, you may want to subscribe. Uh, there are other Civilization V Brave New World Let's Plays that you may want to check out after this one. And there are also other strategy games like Europa Universalis 4. Okay, so I think that's about it for this video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.